Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to our Weber County Commission. Thank you, Quinn. These mics work better when they're pointed at us rather than up in the air. Although omnidirectional, I understand, but that's still okay. Good morning. This is the Weber County Board of Commissioner meeting on, on uh, this, the Tuesday, the 15th of June. It's 10 o'clock. We're glad to have you here. This morning, our Pledge of Allegiance will be led by Felix Yevarino. I should say Felix Yevarino. How did I do? Very good. Thank you. Our invocation will then be given by Commissioner Scott Kent Jenkins, and then I'll have the thought of the day. We'll go to that point. Felix? All rise with Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Our Heavenly Fathers, we come before you this day. We give you thanks for the blessings we have. We live in a wonderful community, and uh, we're grateful for the opportunity we have of uh, being together, uh, of representing the citizens of this county. We pray that thou would uh, bless us with the uh, knowledge we need to do this job appropriate and the trust. Uh, that, we, uh, that the citizenry have uh, put into us, we pray that that blesses that we would not breach that trust in any way. We're grateful, Heavenly Father, for this country and for the freedoms that we have because of it. And we pray that to help us, bless us, that uh, we will work hard to make sure we maintain those freedoms. We ask thy spirit to be with us this day, that things that are said and done will be in accordance with thy holy mind and will. <clears throat> And we say this in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. Thank you, Commissioner, and thank you, Felix. Appreciate that. Commissioners, the thought for today that I have is, uh, is from the man who created the happiest place on earth and a multi-billion dollar empire, Walt Disney. He says, the way to get started is to quit talking and begin doing. Commissioners, there's no secret that uh, through the last 18 months, we were given an we were giving, given through a pandemic opportunities to make different decisions. I want you to know how grateful I am to be aligned with two gentlemen and a team or a staff from Weber County who don't talk but do. I'm grateful for doers and I'm grateful for you know, uh, we've been told so many times that uh, we're one of two cities in the state that actually grew, our economy grew during COVID, which outside of the state is a phenomenon all to itself. We did, we're, we did and we're doing very well because of the decisions that you two have made and our staff have carried out. We're very, very fortunate. I want, to, I want to tell you how grateful I am that I'm not with uh, gentlemen who try, but they do. Two different uh, notions there, and, it's, and uh, I'm grateful for uh, the work you've done to get uh, projects moving right outside our door. Uh, uh, we see the evidence of that, and you know, it, it's an ongoing joke. Uh, about all the construction everywhere throughout the city and everywhere throughout Weber County. And people are sometimes frustrated with that. But I've got to tell you how grateful I am that the state is finally spending money up in our area. It's about time. And that'll help all of us in the future. And, and it won't cost us any more that we're getting improvements to our town. And, and it'll just help us more and more. So it's grateful to be surrounded by people who are doers and not triers and uh, are not just talkers. And so. Commissioners, thanks to Wald on that, and uh, appreciate uh, the opportunity to work with you and our team. That's my thought for today. We'll continue to move forward. We have an opportunity. You know, uh, public comments are not required. Uh, they're not uh, by, uh, we don't have an obligation to take public comments, but we do. But we ask that those comments be specific to county business and related only to those action items 
on our con on our agenda today. So Shelley, online we have some people. Are there any that uh, wish to, to have any public comments on our action items? You have a public comment about the agenda, okay? Go ahead. Maybe State your exact. name and your city, please. Shelley Hallisey Ogden. <laughs> Not exactly this agenda, but I just want to let everyone know that brings me agenda items. We will be posting this Thursday, so I need to have every item by noon on Thursday. I won't be here on Friday, and neither will Stacy. so the agenda will be done on Thursday. So I just want to make sure everybody's aware. Great. For those who want to cons appreciate that, those who would request some things from the public to be on the agenda, that's great. Are there any in the crowd that would like to comment on today's meeting? Seeing none, we'll move on to commissioners. Our item number F, like Foxtrot on our agenda. Mr. Taylor, did I say that phonetically correct? Thank you very much. Uh, our consent items are today as follows. Number one is a request for approval of warrants 459, 421 through and including 459, 572 and 3972 through and including 3990 and 92 through 97 in the amount of $2,622,668.36. Item two is a request for approval of purchase orders in the amount of 81961 and 83 cents. Item three is a request for approval of the minutes for the meetings held on May 25th and June 1st, 2021. Item four is a request for approval of the May ACH payments to the U.S. Bank in the amount of $150,610.08. Item five is a request for approval of the new business licenses. And item six is a request for approval of contracts signed between the following for ramp grants. These are projects that were funded and approved on the 3rd of March. The first one is the Ogden Nordic Inc. for grooming equipment replacement. Ogden City Orchard Park and Playground Enhancements. Another one to Ogden City for the Grandview Park and Playground Enhancements. Ogden Nature Center for Playscape Final Phase. Riverdale City for a Multi-Sport Scoreboards. Weber County Heritage Foundation, App Phase 2. Weber County Heritage Foundation 2021 Monthly Events. Weber County Heritage Foundation History Film Season 2. Ogden Pioneer Days Foundation for the Trail to Pioneer Days. USU Ogden Botanical Gardens Education Signs. Egyptian Theater Foundation for the OECC seat replacement projects. Item uh, number seven is a request for approval of Deputy Sheriff basic training reimbursement contracts by and between Weber County and the following individuals. Albert Hunt, Isaiah Galvin, Alexander Coleman, Dalton Golo, Corbett Miles, Landon Brinkman, Gage Hansen, Kirsten Roundy, Austin Strong, Robert Aparasi, Aparacio, Lara Greenlee, and Travis Nielsen. Item 8, Commissioners, is a request for approval of retirement agreements by between Weber County and the following individuals. J. Lance Peterson, Cheryl Andreasen, Derek Kamek, and Jared Ortgeson. Item 9 is a request for approval of a contract by between Weber County and OnSol for a regional emergency notification system, which is code red provided by OnSol to upload and geocode four database downloads from our 911 system. Item 10 is a request for approval to sell surplus real estate parcel 17061-0012. And item 11, our final item is a request for approval of upgrades to the Weber County Joint Information Center or the Joint Information System Plan. Commissioners, long list today. Questions on any of those items? I have several. Commissioner Jenkins, recognized. Go ahead. Thank you. First uh, one is this parcel number. Is this one we've already talked about when it comes as a parcel? Mr. R okay. Ross, would you come to the mic, please? Thank you. Like those online to be able to hear you. Thank you, sir. Yes, that's a little, just a little sliver, right. a triangle piece in between 1000 and Highway 89. Sure. We're selling the Pleasant View City. It's just I remember. I just, uh, where it, when it comes with no description, you just want to make sure that it's the same one. Thank you. Uh, second one, uh, uh, and this is really for Shelley, uh, multi-use or multi-sports scoreboard. So when they, I understand it's recreation, arts, museums, and parks, and this would fall under parks. But uh, when I look at all the other things we go for, 
Was this scored fairly high? Thank you, Shelley. I just scoreboards. I remember in the past we always used to get the uh, soda pop suppliers to provide the scoreboards because nobody else would because we just didn't feel like they're worth it. The rules for ramp, as long as it is a fixed item, it can be funded by recreation arts museums and parks. So this is fixed. It's a fixed scoreboard and it's scored relatively high. All right. Well, I, you know, I, I, you question these kind of things. Uh, that's all. Thank you. Okay, great. Commissioner Frohr, any questions? No. Great. Thank you. As Mr. Taylor is now sitting to our left, Mr. Hatch will ask you to make comments on these consent items, please. Uh, yes, thank you. Uh, we issued 15 purchase orders this week for $82,000. 27% of that amount, or $22,000, was for the transfer station, uh, which will go towards parts and service uh, for equipment, as well as emergency staffing. 25% or $21,000 is for the shooting range, uh, which will purchase shell panels. And then 21% or $17,000 is for the jail, which will go towards kitchen upgrades, as well as upgrades to the access control system. We issued 177 warrants this week for $2.6 million. One fourth of that amount, or $651,000, was ramp awards, many of which were uh, included in the consent agenda. 19% uh, or $504,000 was for the transfer station, which was primarily disposal costs, but also some uh, money going towards the new scale. 13% or $336,000 is for the sheriff's warehouse, for the property management pole building, and for wayfinding signs. And then 12% or $319,000 is for the 12th Street construction in Marriott Slaterville. Uh, those are paid for by the 1% uh, transportation tax that's approved by the Weber Area Council of Governments. Great. Thank you, Mr. Hatch. Appreciate those. Commissioners, does that have it? Do you have any other questions based on that explanation? I do. Go ahead. Sorry to take your time here, but uh, <coughs> Todd's sitting in the uh, audience. And so I look at this 21,000 for uh, shooting or shell panels. You know, we can't run that thing profitable. And we're spending 21, I mean, I thought you'd have cut cardboard targets up and put it down there. So it's actually the back of the snail trap that catches the bullets. Those are originals that were in there. So in December, we had penetration through three of them. And then on further inspection, we were close. Um, so that replaces all of them on the public 50 over the next year. So we have some of them on a trailer in storage. And as they start to fail, sure. um, we're replacing them. So. That is not what I understood the word, so my Yeah, fault. and those are um, sole sourced. They're made by Action Target, so we got them when we could. So. No, no problem with that. All right, Mr. Chair, sorry. But no problem. Yeah. No, that's great. Thank you, Mr. Ferrario. Great. Any other questions? I'll entertain a motion to uh, for those consent items then. Mr. Chair, I'd make a motion to approve consent items. F is in Fox Drop, one through... 11. 1 through 11. Thank you. Add a motion? Well, second then. And a second. I'll place that motion for vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries unanimously. Thank you very much. We'll now move on to our action items. Action G like golf. Item number one is a request for approval of a contract binding between Weber County and Graviton Consulting for implementation of the Oracle Human Resources Information System. Emily Wild. Ms. Wild, welcome. Glad to have you here with our Human Resource Department. Go ahead, please. Thank you. Hi, Commissioners. So I have before you today the contract and statement of work for the new Human Resource and Payroll System. We put out a bid around um, July of last year, and we went through a very thorough uh, evaluation process. And um, through that process, we have selected Oracle as the software of choice with Graviton as the implementer of the Oracle software. Commissioners, we had a presentation on this in a uh, staff meeting earlier today. Are there any questions with this contract? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion. This is in your portfolio, Commissioner Frohr. I'll turn to you. Well, thank you for that, Mr. Chair. So sure. I, I would make the motion that we approve the contract buying between Weber County 
and Graviton Consulting for implementation of the Oracle Human Resources information, and I'd like to make a comment. Please. I so I just, this has been an ongoing, over a year uh, that I've been aware of it, maybe longer than that. Yeah, uh, year. Really looking at a system that uh, would be more professional in a lot of our accounting, i.e. payroll for human resources, um, that would make us more efficient as a county. And after a lot of research working with uh, Ms. Sarah Swan, um, I believe there was 11 uh, vendors you looked at originally, narrowed that down, uh, had a team that looked at this, evaluated, uh, looked at uh, the current users of this system as well for recommendations. So it was a thorough investigation, Mr. Chair. And uh, I know after, it, it, you know, it's a fairly expensive product uh, fairly expensive investment, but in my opinion, after looking at the dollars and the efficiency that Weber County will be able to achieve, this will pay for itself over time versus trying to nurse a uh, three-legged horse back to the track. So I think we're, I would recommend this uh, wholeheartedly and thank uh, Sarah, Emily, Human Resources for their work. Thank you. Thank you. We ha I recognize a motion. Is there a I'm second? I'm trying to second it right now. <laughs> For $1.6 million, second. <laughs> Thank you for being supportive of that, Commissioner. I'll place that for vote. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Ms. Wild. Thank you. Commissioners, item number two uh, is a consideration and action on a request for final approval of Vista View subdivision consisting of four residential lots. UVV 021621. Felix Yaverino, welcome yes. again, sir. Thank you. So good morning, commissioners. And um, so this is a, a request for final approval of a, a four lot subdivision. And it's a, a little neighborhood east of the town of Huntsville. And uh, what the um, what we've done with this application, we've, we've run it through the planning commission a couple times for preliminary and final. Um, and we've made sure that we, we met all of the subdivision requirements and plat requirements. Um, so at this time, staff recommends approval of this subdivision proposal based on the conditions stated in the staff report. And, uh, and that's pretty much the gist of it. Very good. Commissioner Jenkins, this being in your portfolio, sir, do you have any questions? No questions. This is very simple, a little small lot. Subdivision, as he said, four lots, and I've looked at it, didn't have any issues with it. Great, super. I'll entertain a motion. I'd make a motion that we approve uh, the Vista View subdivision as presented to us today. Great, very good. And I'll second that with a comment, if Please. I could. So, Felix, again, appreciate uh, you bringing this forward. Uh, what I wanted to bring up here was you talked about the process which was the subdivider would come forth with a preliminary plan first mm -hmm. and then it goes to a final approval by the planning commission That's both right. of which i understand are public meetings yes so the public has an opportunity to weigh in there and then the final step is what we just had here today was a final approval by the county commission which being an action item anybody that had concerns from the public mr chair would have their opportunity now to come before us register those complaints we see none here today so my point is this is that the public has three opportunities to come forth with any objections or concerns that they've had and it doesn't appear we've had any concerns so very good thank you I have a motion and a second if there's no more discussion seeing none I'll place that motion for vote all in favor aye aye motion carries thank you very much item number three thank you Mr. Yeverino item three is a consideration and action on a conditional use request for the Val Saunders PRUD, located at 2900 South, 3500 West in Ogden. Our presenter today is Mr. Stephen Burton. Mr. Burton, go hey. ahead. You have a presentation for us today. I, I sure do, yeah. Thank you. Commissioners, this is a, uh, a PRUD. This is the first step in obtaining a planned residential unit development approval. Um, as you know, the uh, the ordinance for a PRUD recently changed to where it's a legislative item 
Uh, in this case, they submitted before that change happened, so it is a conditional use permit that's being requested today. Um, it's located, uh, I've got an image here for you. It's out in Western Weber in the A1, um, sorry, A2 zone, agricultural zone, um, 2900 south and 3500 west. Um, you can see the, the parcel here on the screen. It's about 15.75 acres. I'll show you what the proposal is here. Um, I want to go to this next page so you can see it a little bit better. But um, you've got, actually I'll go back, you've got a large agricultural parcel. Uh, it's about 11 acres preserving farmland. And then you've got 23 townhome units. And then the owner has included uh, their own uh, dwelling as part of this PRUD. The reason for that is because you need 24 units uh, in a PRUD, or at least you previously in the under the old ordinance you did. So you've got um, a couple six plexes, a couple five plexes, um, and then you've also got some uh, storage units um, that you can kind of. You can see right here. There's going to be some storage units for the use of the uh, the tenants or the owners of these units. We've also got a like a small tot lot um, for you know the people that live there and their children. Um, the planning commission meeting that it, it it was it was not controversial. Um, the planning commission made a recommendation that you can see in your report. I can go over that with you as well. It was on April 13th. The Weber Western Weber Planning Commission uh, recommended that it be approved with um, a few conditions. One, an architectural fence shall be provided along 3500 West and the private drives that surround the, the tot lot. That's been done. The developers shown that they're going to have a, a, a vinyl fence around that. Um, two, and, and, and sorry, that it, that fence also is like four feet, so it's not going to be in a visibility issue or anything. Two, the wad, all water access is thoroughly investigated. That's the one that the Planning Commission put on there. Uh, we feel that that can be done, and that will be done when the actual subdivision itself is submitted. I'm, I'm assuming it will be submitted here in the next few weeks, and we'll start that preliminary process. Three, the developer will be required to completely screen the dumpster from street or public view by a six-foot screening device on three sides. Um, that's a requirement of really any PRUD like this. And so um, developers given us enough information, we're comfortable with that. And we can, um, we'll also require a, a bond before the subdivision records. Four, that the storage units have the same um, brick wainscot and colors as the townhomes and the developers provide more detailed drawings of the storage units. They've done that. Um, we've got, um, we just, even though the storage units won't be really visible, we still want it to be a, uh, to have a nice architectural feature. So they're showing here, it will have a little bit of a false front to break up that building a little bit. It'll have the same colors and also a, a same brick wainscot as, as those buildings that are, that the uh, developer's going to build those townhomes. I think there's another condition. Five, the developer will, will be required to submit documentation showing the exact tree species and planting method as well as the street light design. Um, they've done that, and that's something that we'll also look at when uh, when they're doing the bond for the subdivision. Last condition six, uh, the developer will need to provide HOA covenants and bylaws that outline the maintenance of the private park area, including the tot lot, and, and he, the developers provided that information. So we as staff are recommending that you as a commission uh, also uh, approve this uh, based on the, the planning commission's recommendation. I'll answer any questions if you have any. The developers also here. Commissioners, questions for Mr. Burton regarding this project. Mr. Chair, please go ahead, Commissioner Jenkins. The question I have, <coughs> Steve, is uh, sewer on this. Is this going to hook into the, that new lift station that we're having built out there? Or is this too far away? So I, I don't actually know the answer to that question. I, I know it'll be um, Central Weber sewer, um, but I don't know if it'll be. Is the sewer right in front of you on the road? Okay, then it doesn't matter. All right, I, that was just more of an information deal. Any other questions? Commissioners, I'll entertain a motion. Mr. Chair, I'd make a motion that we approve the uh, What do we call this? The uh, small lot 
subdivision PRUD. It's by a conditional Sanders. use, yeah. Conditional use, yeah. Uh, at 2900 South and 3500 West. I have a motion? Second. I have a second. I'll place that motion for vote now. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. Yep. Item number four is a request for approval of a contract buying between Weber County and Audic Ogden Nordic for snow grooming operations at North Fork Park. Our, our presenter today is our Parks and Recreation Director, Mr. Todd Ferrario. Gentlemen, how are you? We're good. How are you, Todd? Tired? A little busy, but... Yeah, you've had a long a night. A little dirty. I apologize, but it's been a long night. Um, <laughs> So what you have in front of you is really us renewing the contract with Ogden Nordic. As you guys know, phenomenal partner for winter sports up in North Fork Park. Um, the basic premise of that contract has not changed. Uh, we worked with Chris Crockett and legal team. There was a little disjointment between ramp and our recipients of ramp on equipment. So tracking of that, purchasing and things like that have been this, I believe, is the first one that actually we're starting to enter it in with contracts. Um, so we have a little better idea and trackability on county funds and, and the equipment being used on our property. So it's been cleaned up. Again, good partner. Uh, they have tons of our community using that park in the wintertime, and they, they really do a really nice job for the community, and, and it, it helps us tremendously. So. Questions, commissioners? <clears throat> They have been a great partner, and I really appreciate uh, you working with them and them with us. It's a, the, the benefit of that is that the public wins up there for, a, for great value. So, commissioners, if there are no questions for Mr. Ferrari, I'll, I'll entertain a motion from Mr. either of you. Mr. Chair, I would uh, move approval of the contract by and between Weber County and Ogden Nordic for snow grooming operations at North Fork Park as presented by Mr. Todd Ferrario this morning. Thank you. Second. I have a motion and a second. I'll place that for vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Ferrario. The next one is an ordinance of the County Commission, Weber County, amending fees for the Parks and Recreation Department. Mr. Ferrario, go ahead. Uh, this is second reading. It was presented uh, last meeting. There have been no requested changes. Um, we've updated some fees there has been a change in a few the most significant was uh, camp fees from 20 to 25 um, as you guys are all aware with our capital improvements prices are through the roof um, project like the yurts the lumber alone was about nineteen thousand dollars more than it was a year ago so um, to commissioner Jenkins trying to uh, break even uh, it's just giving us a little hand up there with staffing costs and equipment yeah. costs so we're just trying to capture the value that we give our customers. Very good. Commissioner's questions for Mr. Ferrario regarding the uh, uh, fee ordinance change. So question, Mr. Chair, if I these? might. So these are the fees that we discussed, I believe, last week. Or Correct. It so was first reading last week, and we received no comments or changes. So what you're seeing is exactly what it was last time. Right. And as I recall, I think we asked last, or I asked last week, that if this brought us in alignment with some of the other uh, venues that the public would use and I think the answer to that was this we're still on the lower side Very of so. of our competition yeah. and we have some new amenities coming to that park um, over the next year that will actually uh, elevate it even further so good. Um, some good things in the future some good work with trails network of trails foundation in northern Utah with some shared resources in that area that's allowed us to um, handle the crowds we have uh, actually in the last four years we're probably eight to ten fold the amount of people in daily use so the partnerships help a bunch and this this helps us in that way too that's great i've heard nothing but positive feedback on the condition on the trail system on the facilities up there mr chair thank you so much so that you'd be willing to make a motion i would be happy to make a motion to approve the final or final reading of ordinance of the county commissioners of weber county amending fees for the parks and recs department a motion second with a comment go ahead <coughs> uh, i'm anxious to see we give you a million dollars extra this year uh, county parks and i'm anxious to see what you've done with that 
It's actually culture parks and recreation. Well, we culture me. parks and recreation. Thing. That's our whole department, not my division. That's true. But uh, I assume you got a major share of that. Um, I think total we're, I'd have to look, but somewhere around 90000 was ours. Um, we did get some ramp funding um, mm. for an accessible campground. But Marty, you might be able to help, but I think Parks and Rec was around 90, maybe 120 if you include recreation because they're redoing the parking lot at Golden Spike. So. Yeah, so you know, it'd be nice to have a <clears throat> follow up on that at one of our work meetings. Great. See where that went. Mr. Yeah, Smith, if idea. you'll break that down and, and uh, put, on your, put, it, put it on the agenda for an upcoming work session, I'd yeah. appreciate that. Thank you. I'm getting a All right. head bob. Thank you. Great. Have a second. Mr. Taylor, go ahead. Say this is Ordinance 21. Ordinance number 21. Very good. And a roll call vote, Commissioner Frohr? Aye. Commissioner Jenkins? Aye. Chair Harvey? Aye. Motion carries. Mr. Ferrari, would you take another moment, just a brief moment, to tell us what's happening at the fort and what happened actually last night or the night before? Um, as you guys are aware, we had Utah Open last weekend, which is our state uh, tournament. Um, for, this, disc for disc golf. Golf. Sorry. Okay. Um, this week we start the week of pros. We've had a number of them came to Utah Open, and the rest are all coming as of yesterday. Um, we had a fire last night at the fort. Uh, the response was phenomenal. Uh, engine four, or station four, as you know, is right across the street from us. They sent a quick attack and an engine and a ladder, but the ladder can't come across the bridge. Um, properties came out with a bucket truck. Uh, my crew came out. Uh, the alpha team leader from Weber County also came out. Uh, fire was extinguished quickly. Uh, we also dropped three trees. We had a hollow tree that was burning on the ground and putting flames out about 60 feet in the air and Whoa. weren't sure if it was out or not. So with the help of properties in their bucket truck, we delimbed it and we dropped trees and we're there this morning finishing that. Um, Ogden City was there at five this morning bringing us bleachers for Worlds. Stage is set, so it's uh, going to be quite an event. So looking forward to it. You minimized all that work. Those trees are not mm -hmm. teeny caliper trees. They're no, massive. The chunk of this one was about 42 inches across. It was one of the older ones, one of our three biggest. Um, and uh, it had, had a pretty significant chimney in it already, um, just over time with rot with cottonwoods. And, and, and it was kind of an uh, impressive thing to see, not what you want to see, but uh, I think with that what could have happened and what did we were very lucky and, and the collaborative effort of everyone really we had everything down in a safe fashion by 10 30 or 11 last night so just getting dark and it was not safe for our guys to be with chainsaws um, so we um, went back out this morning and I'm assuming since I left most of it's cleaned up so good timing on the meeting <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for you all bet. your work and please uh, our thanks to your crews and the crews that helped you from the different uh, areas in fire response to Todd. Okay. Just great, great. You do, do a you wonderful have any job. How the fire started? Yeah, they were trying to repair a tree had busted one of the benches on the disc golf course, and they were there was a bent bolt. They were trying to cut the bolt out, and it caught some cotton, and just they were in the middle of the street, sure. well, gravel street, and it just chased to where it blew up against the fence, and and you know before you blink, our, our guys have been very safe. It's it's. It As you're very aware in the whole state, it's not in great shape. Even so. it happens. Lesson learned. Yeah, I'll say. That's just, that's good. Well, thank you, Mr. Ferrari. I appreciate that. Item number H, I'll get out of the phonetic, but H like Harvey. Commissioner comments. Any comments? Commissioner? <clears throat> I don't have any, no. Huh? Been a good day. Wow. Okay, good. Commissioner Ferrari, any comments? No, I think I'm good. Thank you, though, for asking. We have a lot of we have a lot of uh, uh, fun between the two of us. Uh, we're bruised up pretty bad because of all the shots and the jabs and the pokes we take at one another. Well, you just said it. Between the two of you, you're having a lot of fun, and so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, hold on. Uh, I mean, just making sure that uh, those are wiped clean. I'll entertain a motion then for our last agenda item. I'll make a motion to adjourn and go to Canab. Have fun. I'll have a second to that. I'm not going to Canab it, but yeah. All right. Uh, motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Adjourned.